Plant life. Plants are a very important part of our planet. Despite their great diversity in shape, size, and nature, they show similarities in their activities. They all need food, energy. They grow. They respire and remove waste material from their body. They reproduce and respond to stimuli. The most important life process of plants is photosynthesis. By this process, they prepare the food and oxygen gas is released from the plant body. This oxygen gas is life-giving gas. All living organisms receive oxygen from green plants. Photosynthesis. Plants synthesize their own food in the presence of sunlight by the presence of photosynthesis. All animals obtain their food from plants and dependent on them for their survival. Photosynthesis. Photo light. Synthesis putting together is a biochemical process through which green plants make food by using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light energy from the sun this food is used for the growth and sustains life on our planet the process of photosynthesis is vital for the sustenance of life on the earth one source of energy photosynthesis is the only mechanism by which energy from the non-living world sun is transferred to the living world plant two source of food photosynthesis is the only and ultimately source of food for all three source of oxygen photosynthesis is the only biological process which releases oxygen into the atmosphere photosynthesis is affected by temperature light intensity light wavelength and carbon dioxide level Chloroplast, the site of photosynthesis. Chloroplast is a unique organelle of green plant cells which can trap solar energy required for photosynthesis. It is also called basic structural unit of photosynthesis or site of photosynthesis. It is round, oval structure with double membrane. Internally, it can be divided into two parts, grana and stroma. Grana contains chlorophyll pigment and it is embedded in a gel-like structure called stroma. Know this. Photosynthesis is the only process considered as a link between living and non-living worlds, that is, with abiotic factors. Stomata, minute pores found on the leaves. Stomata are minute openings present on the leaf surface. They are present in large numbers on the lower surface of a leaf as compared to the upper surface. Each stroma is bordered by two guard cells with a thick inner wall and thin outer wall. The guard cells control the opening and closing of stomata mainly by the movement of water because of changes in osmotic potential of the guard cell process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process which converts light energy to chemical energy green plants trap light energy of sun and change it into chemical energy in the form of glucose Carbohydrate. Experiments to show the process of photosynthesis. Experiment 1. To show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Take a plant with variegated leaves having some green and some non-green areas. Examples, coleus, geranium and croton. 
डिस्टार्ज द लीव बाय कीपिंग द प्लांट्स इन डार्क रूम फॉर अ फ्यू डेज प्लेस द प्लांट इन द सन आफ्टर अ फ्यू आवर्स प्लक वन लीफ मेक इट्स आउटलाइन ऑन पेपर एंड मार्क द ग्रीन एंड नॉन ग्रीन एरियाज ऑन द आउटलाइन टेस्ट द लीव फॉर स्टार्च Only the green parts of the leaf turn bluish, showing the presence of starch. Experiment two, to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis, take a plant with de-starched leaves. Cover one of its leaves with black paper on which a design is cut. Place this plant in the sun. After a few hours, test the leaf which is covered by black paper for the presence of starch. It will be observed that only the parts of the leaf which could get light through the cut-out design, as well as those that were left uncovered by the paper, turn blue-black, showing the presence of starch. Experiment three. to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis take a plant with de-starched leaves insert one of its leaves through a split cork into a conical flask containing potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide place this plant in the sunlight after a few hours test the any other leaf of this plant for starch the leaf which was exposed to the atmospheric air becomes blue black and the one inside the flask containing potassium hydroxide does not become blue black showing that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis experiment 4 to show that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis place some water plants elodia or hydrilla in a beaker containing pond water and cover them by a short stemmed funnel invert a test tube full of water over the stem of the funnel ensure that the level of water in the beaker is above the level of stem of the inverted funnel Place the apparatus in the sun for a few hours. Bubbles of the gas will collect in the test tube. Test the gas in the test tube. A glowing splinter bursts into flame which shows the presence of oxygen. Importance of photosynthesis. 1. Provides food. All animals including humans ultimately depend on plants for food a herbivore plant eater consumes the plant parts directly while a carnivore flesh eater eats flesh of an animal which in turn was a herbivore this chain of food dependence is called the food chain the food chain may have a number of intervening stages but the starting point is always a plant producer which produces its own food through photosynthesis you can imagine several food chains for example corn to rat to snake to hawk grass to rabbit to tiger grass to grasshopper to lizard to kite grass to insects to frog to snake to peacock wheat to man to mosquito non green plants such as fungi and bacteria obtain their nourishment from decaying organic matter in their environment this matter comes from dead animals and plants which in their own turn were dependent on photosynthesis do provide oxygen the life supporting gas oxygen is present in the atmosphere in a free state only because of photosynthesis 
scientists strongly believe that about 2 billion years ago, when there was no life on the earth in any form, there was no free oxygen in the atmosphere. Appearance of green plants set the stage for the animals to appear. Almost all organisms need oxygen for respiration. Factors affecting photosynthesis The process is influenced by environmental factors like light, carbon dioxide, temperature and water. Light Average light intensity is sufficient for the photosynthesis. At low intensity of light, rate of photosynthesis is low. Carbon dioxide The rate of photosynthesis increases with the increase in CO2 concentration. Higher concentration of CO2 slows down the process. Temperature The optimum temperature for photosynthesis is 24 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade. Water Only 1% of water absorbed by the plant is utilized. Low absorption of water decreases the rate of reaction.